What'd she say? It's complicated. Mm -hmm. I know you. You didn't talk to her. Six years together, she's just not going to give me the thumbs up to move on. I'm strategizing. <laughs> me too. Where are you going? It's complicated. sitting there preparing for a meeting and then not now and then, then she goes to the bathroom and all of a sudden the water just from Lamont's kind of a sleepy town this is my first dead body we can ship a couple of our overflow up here if you want I'm in charge Captain Fogarty Nagel Dawson thanks for calling under the circumstances uh, I figure this is your ballpark the manager said that he made the reservation online never saw the man before not even when he checked in didn't have to key card on the door changes for every new customer Wallet was in his pocket. Any security footage? People come here don't really want a record of it. In here? Yeah, I'd say he's dead. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Excuse me? I figured I could learn something. The slit wrists. Pretty obvious suicide. Nope, nothing. Hot water. Whoever did this wanted the body to decompose. What do you mean, whoever did this? He did it. Look again, officer. What's missing? A knife. Maybe Officer Jonesy will get us a cup of coffee while we discuss the case? It's one hell of a way for a cop to go. Yeah. Excuse me, I'm sorry. Did you just say the victim was a cop? Your boss didn't tell you. Officer Jonesy? Meet Officer Ted Cody, Chicago PD. What are we looking at? Cause of death, broken neck. Judging by these severe cervical vertebral fractures, I'd say Officer Cody was face down. The killer put a knee here and snapped his head back. Mm. And the ankles? Can't say. Maybe when he hit the tub. Also, he was Mike Tyson. The guy bit his ear? Someone with very strong fingers. Did a grab, pull, and rip. No pulmonary edema, minimal bleeding. He was dead before his wrists were cut and was dumped into the tub. So someone went to a lot of trouble to make us think that this was a suicide. Like we're gonna miss a broken neck. Us? No, but the locals might. See the jagged nature of the cuts? I'd say we're looking at a bread knife, something like that. And all this happened when? Because the body was in hot water, I'd say the TOD was sometime around noon yesterday, give or take. Okay. Thanks, Joy. Well, it gets better. Officer Cody had pancreatic cancer. He didn't have more than six weeks left on this planet. We found traces of gemcitabine oxalplatin, that's chemo, along with some alcohol in his blood. That's a big no-no. There should be a law against cops getting married. I thought they had one already. So is Officer Cody a martyr or a mook? Hard to say. His ex was in line about medical bills. Had x-rays, surgeries, meds, insurance, second notice, third notice. Looks like he owed about half a mil. I had six weeks to go, I'd make him wait too. Whoa. I'd say this is about 20 grand times two. You're kidding. Hey, I used to work narcotics. Things are starting to lean towards MOOC. Sure, Cody and me used to be partners. 